I, Shannon, I, Shannon. take you, Curtis, Curtis, to be my husband, before God who brought us together, to love you, to cherish you, to submit myself unto you in all things, and to follow you through all life's experiences as you follow God, that through His grace we might grow together into the likeness of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. All I am I give to you. With this ring I thee wed and pledge my love and life to you. Let these rings stand as a, rem as a reminder forever of the symbol of your guys' love. Okay, before I pronounce Curtis and Shannon husband and wife, they wanted to literally tie the knot. And I've been carrying this rope for an, <laughs> for an entire day. The knot representation comes from Ecclesiastes 4.12. The one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not easily broken. You know, this simple verse highlights the most important part of an unbreakable marriage, and that's that Christ is the center of it. It says that one cord can be overpowered. You know, it's never good to be alone. Wouldn't you guys agree it's not as good to be alone? It says that two can defend themselves. I love that promise. Life's hard. It's full of challenges. Sometimes it feels like a battle. And Curtis and Shannon, after today, you're not fighting any more of it alone because you have each other. And finally, the third strand, which is God. If the two of you can interweave God into every part of your friendship and your marriage, it says that it won't be easily broken. You know, that theme is consistent in all of Scripture. I love when the psalmist says, he says, I've set the Lord continually before me, and because he's at my right hand, I will not be shaken.